Welcome back to 10 Things. Our video today is about the top 10 most evil people in history. Enjoy. The most unfortunate aspect to researching this list was the realization that I could do a top 100 most evil men and would still have enough people for a second list. The selection of this list is not based upon death tolls, but upon the general actions, impact, or brutality of the people. From bad to worst, here are the top 10 evil men in history. Number 10. Attila the Hun. Upon murdering his brother in 445, Attila became the 5th century king of the Hunnic Empire and the sole ruler of the Huns. The Hunnic Empire stretched from Germany to the Ural River and from the Danube River to the Baltic Sea. Attila was notorious for his fierce gaze. According to historian Edward Gibbon, he frequently rolled his eyes as if to enjoy the terror he inspired. He also reputedly scared others by claiming to own the actual sword of Mars, the Roman god of war. Attila drowned in his own blood on his wedding night. No one knows where he's buried. Number 9. Maximilian Robespierre. Maximilien de Robespierre was a radical Jacobin leader and one of the principal figures in the French Revolution. In the latter months of 1793, he came to dominate the Committee of Public Safety, the principal organ of the revolutionary government during the Reign of Terror. In addition, Robespierre was one of the main driving forces behind the Reign of Terror, a 10-month post-revolutionary period in which mass executions were carried out. The terror took the lives of between 18,500 to 40,000 people, with 1,900 being killed in the last month. In an act of coincidental justice, Robespierre was guillotined without a trial in 1794. Number 8. Ruhala Khomeini. Ayatollah Khomeini was the religious leader of Iran from 1979 to 1989. In that time he implemented an Islamic religious law, which enforced a dress code for both men and women by Islamic revolutionary guards and other Islamic groups. Opposition to the religious rule of the clergy or Islam in general was often met with harsh punishments. In the 1988 massacre of Iranian prisoners, Khomeini issued an order to judge every Iranian political prisoner and kill those who would not repent anti-regime activities. Many say the thousands were swiftly put to death inside the prisons. 30,000 political activists were executed. After 11 days in a hospital for an operation to stop internal bleeding, Khomeini died of cancer in 1989, at the age of 86. Number 7. Idi Amin Dada. Idi Amin was an army officer and president of Uganda. He took power in a military coup in January 1971. His rule was characterized by human rights abuses, political repression, ethnic persecution, extrajudicial killings and the expulsion of Indians from Uganda. The number of people killed as a result of his regime is unknown, estimates range from 80,000 to 500,000. On August 4, 1972, Amin issued a decree ordering the expulsion of the 60,000 Asians who were not Ugandan citizens. This was later amended to include all 80,000 Asians, except for professionals, such as doctors, lawyers and teachers. Amin was eventually overthrown, but until his death, he held that Uganda needed him, and he never expressed remorse for the abuses of his regime. Number 6. Leopold II of Belgium. Leopold II was King of Belgium from 1865 to 1909. With financial support from the government, Leopold created the Congo Free State, a private project undertaken to extract rubber and ivory in the Congo region of Central Africa, which relied on forced labor and resulted in the deaths of approximately 3 million Congolese. The regime of the Congo Free State became one of the more infamous international scandals of the turn of the century. The area of land privately owned by the king was an area 76 times larger than Belgium, which he was free to rule as a personal domain through his private army, the Force Publique. Leopold's rubber gatherers were tortured, maimed and slaughtered. Number 5. Pol Pot. Pol Pot was the leader of the Khmer Rouge and the Prime Minister of Cambodia from 1976 to 1979. During his time in power, Pol Pot imposed an extreme version of agrarian communism, where all city dwellers were relocated to the countryside to work in collective farms and forced labor projects. The combined effect of slave labor, malnutrition, poor medical care and executions is estimated to have killed around 2 million Cambodians. His regime achieved special notoriety for singling out all intellectuals and other enemies for murder. The Khmer Rouge committed mass executions in sites known as the Killing Fields. The executed were buried in mass graves. 
In order to save ammunition, executions were often carried out using hammers, axe handles or sharpened bamboo sticks. Number 4. Vlad the Impaler. Vlad III of Romania also known as Vlad the Impaler was Prince of Wallachia three times between 1448 and 1476. Vlad is best known for the legends of the exceedingly cruel punishments he imposed during his reign and for serving as the primary inspiration for the vampire main character in the popular Dracula novel. In Romania, he is viewed by many as a prince with a deep sense of justice. His method of torture was a horse attached to each of the victim's legs, as a sharpened stake was gradually forced into the body. The end of the stake was usually oiled, and care was taken that the stake not be too sharp, else the victim might die too rapidly from shock. The list of tortures he is alleged to have employed is extensive. Nails and heads, cutting off of limbs, blinding, strangulation, burning, cutting off of noses and ears, mutilation of sexual organs, scalping, skinning, exposure to the elements or to animals, and boiling alive. There are claims that on some occasions 10,000 people were impaled in 1460 alone. Number 3. Ivan IV of Russia. Ivan IV of Russia, also known as Ivan the Terrible, was the Grand Duke of Muscovy from 1533 to 1547 and was the first ruler of Russia to assume the title of Tsar. In 1570, Ivan was under the belief that the elite of the city of Novgorod planned to defect to Poland and led an army to stop them on January 2. Ivan's soldiers built walls around the perimeter of the city in order to prevent the people of the city escaping. Between 500 and 1,000 people were gathered every day by the troops, then tortured and killed in front of Ivan and his son. In 1581, Ivan beat his pregnant daughter-in-law for wearing immodest clothing, causing a miscarriage. His son, also named Ivan, upon learning of this, engaged in a heated argument with his father, which resulted in Ivan striking his son in the head with his pointed staff, causing his son's death. Number 2. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany in 1933, becoming Führer in 1934 until his suicide in 1945. By the end of the Second World War, Hitler's policies of territorial conquest and racial subjugation had brought death and destruction to tens of millions of people, including the genocide of six million Jews in what is now known as the Holocaust. On 30 April 1945, after intense street-to-street -street combat, when Soviet troops were spotted within a block or two of the Reich Chancellery, Hitler committed suicide, shooting himself while simultaneously biting into a cyanide capsule. Just before we come to number one, I want to remind you that subscribing is free and you will help out the channel a lot by doing so. Thank you for watching and let us continue. Number one. Joseph Stalin. Stalin was General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union Central Committee from 1922 until his death in 1953. Under Stalin's leadership, the Ukraine suffered from Holodomor so great it is considered by many to be an act of genocide on the part of Stalin's government. Estimates of the number of deaths range from 2.5 million to 10 million. The famine was caused by direct political and administrative decisions. In addition to the famine, Stalin ordered purges within the Soviet Union of any person deemed to be an enemy of the state. In total, estimates of the total number murdered under Stalin's reign range from 10 million to 60 million. What other evil people do you know? Write your answers in the comments below.